Hello, it is me, Dr. Martoni, and I did tell my wife that I would try to do a video that ticked the people off less. Um, you know, it's, it's so funny. For every uh, person that aligns with me, there, so for every person that isn't aligned with me, there's 15 pers people that do align. So what that means for every, for every friend on Facebook, I'm losing and gaining about 15 more. And it's, it's really uh, empowering to know. And it really makes me feel good to know that there are uh, people that, are, that I didn't even realize that are coming out and they're giving me support saying, you know what? I knew that um, you know I had more. In, I knew that she, that I had more power um, for my health and well-being than than I originally thought. And as many of you know, my big thing, my big in, empowering message is the X factor. Right? It is that you are. It is you that is the X factor. It is not the virus. So what I like to do is I like to give people a, head, a heads up. Like how, when you get sick, how do you get sick? And then what does that typically look like? Because there are two very different types of immunities. There is something that's called humoral immunity and then something that's called cellular mediated immunity. So when you get sick or you get a cold, the body has to go through a reaction, especially if it's to a virus. And most people, I'm going to lay this out and, and a lot of times I'm going to try to let you see and let you understand along the different ways uh, how you feel. So first off, when somebody gets sick, you don't get sick in Vegas, okay? If you go to Vegas and you stay up late and you're, you're up doing all that stuff, you get, sick, you get sick six, seven, or eight days after. That is how it happens. You don't get sick when you, when you have a virus or you're contracted with that virus. You get sick when your body, is, your body is, gets suppressed from the stress of traveling. So what ends up happening is that you start to get run down. You start to get run down in maybe getting a headache, right? So for those of you that don't get headaches, when you first get a headache or you start to have a headache, that could be a sign that you're fighting something or you just start to feel weird, you start to get dizzy. Then the next step that happens when you when you get you when when you're in this cellular mediated process, which means you you are you are immunosuppressed and your body's fighting something, then you might start to get a sore throat. That is why I tell people at, you know, um, after a time change, after about three or four weeks after a time change, people will start to get a sore throat. They'll either blame it on their kids going back to school if it's fall back, or in the spring they'll say, oh, I'm getting, um, I'm getting allergies because my throat is raw. Still, this is part of the cellular mediated process. So then after the, the, the sore throat goes away, which a lot of times, you know, people will get tested, it'll be strep throat or it'll be something like that. But after goes away, the next thing that happens is your sinuses get congested. So it goes from a sore throat and it seemingly seems that it progresses into the sinuses, but it's the next phase in the cellular mediated process. Then what happens when people have sinus congestion, which is what I used to do. I used to, I used to blow my nose so hard to get all the junk out of my nose. Well, what that does it, it doesn't get all the junk out of your nose. It jams it back up into your sinuses and it gives you a sinus infection. If you want to stop getting sinus infections and you get them regularly, stop blowing your nose so hard. So just blow it nice and light so the junk doesn't get compacted into your sinuses. Then the last phase of the cellular mediated process, which is this long-term immunity, where once you get a virus, you can't get the same one twice because you're making all of these helper T cells is, it seemingly goes to your chest. <coughs> People will get a cough. It is not the progression of the virus that goes to your chest, it is part of the process. So now what's happening in this, and when you look at a new virus or, or a new virus coming in, um, it doesn't just attack your chest 
it's part of the process. So normally, normal healthy people, when they get sick, will go through that process. Regardless if you have Corona, Fiona, Miona, Biona, whatever it is, when you, what's happening now is everybody with the cough or everybody that has a fever or everybody that feels sinus congestion, they're going right to the hospital and they're overloading the system. When the statistics show that the, the coronavirus, it, most people will just get it with a cold. It, you know, it, it, it lives on a surface for, for um, you know, 24 or, or, or for a week or two weeks, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. What matters is, is you, your immunity. For you to even go through this process of, of getting a headache, getting a cold, you know, getting it to go to your sinuses, you have to have immunosuppression, immunocompromised. The uh, healthy people, I still stand by it, don't get sick, but the appearance of a healthy person does. So what would the appearance of a healthy person be? A, a susceptible immunity. That would be somebody that travels to Italy, comes about, forget, I shouldn't say Italy, let's say travels multiple time zones, doesn't sleep well, they're run down, that will suppress your immunity, you'll end catching something, it's, it's, whether, it's, whether it's the coronavirus or whether it's whatever it is, you'll catch something and your body will go through this process. And while you go through this process, now you have a virus that's inside of you in the way that it wants to live because your immune system's beating it up, it wants to go into somebody else and go into somebody else and go into somebody else. So when you're sick and when you're feeling symptoms, you know, it's not a bad idea to rest and stay away from those that are run down, right? So I am going to leave this with an empowering message of what I do in my life, not just now because of the craziness that's going on, because what I do on a regular basis to keep myself healthy and to keep my family healthy. I'm gonna break down 10 things. And I'm, and, and I'm gonna say number one, the number one thing that you can do, and this is like, this is crazy because nobody's doing it. As we're all staying home and some people don't have to go to work, some people lost, losing their jobs, it's so, so stressful, I feel so bad. But the number one thing that you can do is pick a bedtime and go to bed regularly at the same time. Everybody's staying up later because they're like, oh, you know, I don't have to get up as late. Picking a bedtime is, is critical to, to your body likes regularity. It wants to do things over and over and over again and get used to things. So pick a bedtime and go to bed at that time. Don't wait until, because you don't have to wake up and going to bed at midnight, two, one, two o'clock. Make sure every hour of sleep before midnight is worth two hours of sleep after midnight. Get to bed 10, 10.30. That's number one. Drink water. Half of your body weight in ounces of water. Critically important. Remember, your nervous system controls everything. So if the structure of your spine is off, so isn't the, the, the health and well-being of your nervous system. So get your spine aligned. I'm a chiropractor. I believe in going to a chiropractor on a regular basis to have your spine aligned and heal from the inside out. Number four, uh, make sure that you are eating live food. Live food is critically important. Ultimately, we get our energy from the sun. The sun is where we get our energy from. So you can either stay in the sun for 5, 10, 15 minutes a day, or you can eat live food. You will ultimately get that energy from that sun. There's something that's called photography. It takes pictures of foods, and you can see an aura around that food. Dead food or you know, the, 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 the more processed the food is, the less energy you get from that food. The more live that food is, the healthier you, the, the more energy you get from that food. And choose choices like if you have the option to get salmon or farm-raised salmon, you want the salmon that are naturally raised so, the, so that the salmon eats the algae and then you ultimately get that energy. That's the circle of life there. Life from food. Food from life, okay? So get some sleep, stay hydrated, get yourself adjusted, eat live foods, stay warm, right? Heat is a way to boost your immune system. And the last thing that I wanted to, I want to leave this with, make sure, please, in these, these times of, 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 this time of craziness, kind of settle your mind down, move into love and gratitude, be grateful for what you have, be grateful for the people around you. Be grateful for your family. Try to live and come from a place of love. Try to live and come from a place of empowerment. 
Thank you so much for staying connected. I'm going to keep these going because for every person I'm losing, because I, I don't know why you wouldn't connect with this information, but for every friend I'm losing, I'm getting 15 others. Thank you so much. I want to be a light. I want to be a light that shines through. Share this if it resonates with your message. If not, just listen to my next one. Thank you so much.